What is the role of carbon in the molecular diversity of life? Carbon is known as the backbone of biological molecules because most cells are consist of carbon-based compounds. Carbon is probably the most important element because of its ability to form large, complex, and diverse molecules. So how is carbon able to form so many molecules? Carbon is able to form many molecules because it has four strong covalent bonds without any lone pair. Carbon has four valence electrons, so it can form bonds with other carbon atoms as well as with other non-metal groups. This means that long chains of carbon atoms can be formed onto which other groups can be attached. There are many groups carbon can form covalent bonds with. For example, hydrogen is the most common group that carbon forms bonds with. Molecules made of just carbon and hydrogen are called hydrocarbons, which are the simplest group of organic compounds. Other groups can be attached to carbon such as hydroxide, OH group, carbonic group, carboxic acid group, and etc. How cells synthesize and break down products, dehydration synthesis and hydrolysis. Dehydration means to take water out. When you use dehydration synthesis, you are building up something while taking water out. This reaction can occur when one of the reactants has hydroxyl group OH that can be taken out and form OH ions. The other reactant must have a hydrogen atom, which also yields H plus ion. When those ions are free to combine, a water molecule is formed, while two reactants are not covalently bonded. Simple way to remember this is the molecule is dehydrated to combine, so product is water and combined molecules. Hydrolysis is simple reverse of dehydration synthesis. It means that you add water to a molecule to break it down. When you hydrolyze or add water to a reactant, the reactants break down into smaller molecules and water is used up. How structures of biologically important molecules account for their function? Among the numerous types of organic compounds, macromolecules are biologically most important molecules. Carbohydrates, lipids, proteins, and nucleic acid. Carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are sugar polymers and common sources of energy. Carbohydrates are composed of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. The ratio of hydrogen atoms to oxygen atoms is 2 to 1, and it has ring structure. Monosaccharides are simple sugars like glucose and fructose. The most important monosaccharide is glucose, C6H12O6. Glucose is a basic form of fuel in living things, starting material for cellular respiration, and main product of photosynthesis. Disaccharides, or two sugars, are compounds like sucrose. Larger, more complex carbohydrates are polysaccharides. Polysaccharides are formed by linking innumerable monosaccharides. Many biologically important compounds such as starches and cellulose are polysaccharides. For example, starches serve as storage form for carbohydrates. Humans need starches like rice and wheat to survive. Plants also use starch as energy source, while animals use glycogen. Moreover, cellulose is another polysaccharide that adds strength and stiffness to a plant cell wall. Lipids. Lipids are composed of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen atoms. The ratio of hydrogen atoms to oxygen atoms is much higher in lipids than in carbohydrates. Lipids include steroids, which is material hormones are composed of, waxes, cell membrane, and fats. Fatty acids that contain no double bonds are called saturated fats. Saturated fats have the maximum amount of hydrogen attached to the molecule. Fatty acids that have one or more double bonds in their molecules are unsaturated fats. 
Unsaturated fats have bends or kinks in the shape due to the presence of double bond. Unsaturated fats were known to be more healthier than saturated fats. The picture shown here is avocado. Avocado is known to contain a lot of unsaturated fats, which is a lot healthier than butter saturated fat. Proteins. Proteins are composed of amino acids. There are 20 kinds of amino acids. Each amino acid has amino group, carboxyl group, and R group. The amino acids differ depending on the nature of the R group. Proteins are the major molecules from which living things are constructed. They are found as supporting and strengthening materials in tissues outside of cells. Bones, cartilage, tendons, and ligaments are all composed of proteins. The essential use of protein is in the structure of enzymes. Enzymes catalyze in the chemical reactions that take place within cells. They are not used up in a reaction but remain unchanged. Every species manufactures proteins unique to that species. The information for synthesizing the unique proteins is located in the nucleus of the cell. The genetic code specifies the amino acid sequences in proteins. Hence, the genetic code regulates the chemistry within a cell. Nucleic acids The nucleic acids are composed of smaller units called nucleotides. Each nucleotide contains a carbohydrate molecule, a phosphate group, and nitrogen containing molecule or a nitrogenous base. Living organisms have two important nucleic acids. One type is deoxyribonucleic acid or DNA. The other is ribonucleic acid or RNA. DNA is found primarily in the nucleus of the cell while RNA is found both in the nucleus and in the cytoplasm, a semi-liquid substance that composes the foundation of the cell. DNA and RNA differ from one another in their components. DNA contains carbohydrate deoxyribose, while RNA has ribose. In addition, DNA contains the base thymine, while RNA has uric uricle.